Time is money, but time is time, and I want to maximize both. I'm Courtney Burton, multiple business owner, mom, pregnant with baby number two, wife, friend, and today we are going to be talking about optimizing your time and creating your daily priorities so you make sure you have the most of both time and money. Now, I've built up multiple businesses over the last nine years. And one of the things that I focused on while building my businesses was making sure that I was building a business around my life. I wanted to make sure that in the future, cut out that last part. I wanted to set myself up so in the future, which is now, I could choose my own schedule. I could travel for a month at a time if I wanted to, and I could always have three-day weekends with my family. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that at the beginning of your business, you don't have to work hard. You do. And here, nine years in, I still work hard at my businesses. But as an Enneagram 7, and the kind of person that likes a lot of spontaneity in my life, I had to learn how to manage my time so I could maximize it, so I can make the most money, so I could spend more time outside on adventures and with my family. Last week, I talked all about time blocking. And today, I'm gonna talk about maximizing your day and making sure that you're focusing on the priorities that are gonna make you the most money. So with everybody's business, we have IPAs which are income producing activities. And you're gonna hear a lot of people that are gonna tell you, choose five IPAs or choose three IPAs per day and make them your non-negotiables. With a lot of my students and clients that I coach to build their own online businesses, courses, and signature programs, I encourage them to choose three IPAs for every single one of their work days, I also tell them don't set any on Fridays because Fridays are going to be saved for your Friday finishers. Friday finishers is a concept that I learned from Brendan Bruchard and it is the concept of any important tasks that you don't get done throughout the week, you make sure you get them done on Friday before you lay your head on the pillow. Now, how do you determine what your IPAs are for the week? First and foremost, I did an entire goal setting series back in January. So if you missed that, go back and watch. But I set up my yearly goals and then break them down into quarterly goals and then into monthly goals. From my monthly goals, I'll show you right here, you don't need a fancy planner. I use the daily grind planner here. Don't have a link or anything, this is just what I use. But I set up my 10 monthly goals that are gonna help me reach my quarterly goals, which will help me meet my yearly goals. From there, every single day, I write down my top 10 monthly goals. I write down what needs to be done every single day in order to reach them. So I have my top 10 monthly goals there, tasks that I can do to reach them, and then a checklist right here. Once again, you can just have a notebook that you write this in. So right here it says done, almost done, or move it to tomorrow. From there, right here, I write down my top three IPAs for the day. So the things that I'm going to do before the end of my workday to move my business forward. Now, a lot of times we spend time as business owners doing the busy work or doing the things that we find fun and easy in our businesses. If you've never read the book, Eat That Frog, I highly recommend it because I like to chunk out the first little bit of my day in my time blocker to do 
my IPAs, the things that are moving my business, my personal business forward. Now, yes, I have many students and many clients that I work with and I schedule time in my day to work with them but you always have to make sure that you're doing the business activities that are bringing in new clients or getting more eyes on you. So those things could be making sure you're doing a post on social media or doing outreach, sending a newsletter, even things like, I mean, this stuff is fun to me, but creating new free resources on Canva that people can use to sign up for your newsletter list. So the things that you need to be doing in order to move yourself forward towards those monetary goals so that you can build your life and have the three-day weekends and spend the time with your family and do the things that you want to do. So I encourage you, every single day of your work days, make sure to write down those three IPAs, those three non-negotiables. And before you put your head on the pillow at night, make sure they are checked off. And if they aren't, move them to the final day of your work week, mine is a Friday, and make sure they get done before you take your time off and go enjoy. This is how you know you'll be moving your business forward every single week, month, and year. Now, next week, I'm going to be talking about tracking your time and tracking those income producing activities to make sure you are truly maximizing your time and getting the most out of your day, week, and month. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next week.